In Chinese mythology, there is a foolish old man of 90 years, annoying by the obstruction caused by the mountain and thought to dig through them with hole and basket. However, he can only make one round trip between the mountain and his home in a year. When questioned as to the seemingly impossible nature of his task, the foolish old man replied that while he may not be finishing this task in his lifetime, through the hard work of himself, his children, and their children, and so on and so forth, through the many generations, someday the mountain would be removed if he persevered. His perseverance touched the Jade Empress, who is the Chinese supreme god, you know, like the Chinese equivalent of Zeus. So he removed the mountain for the old man, using his magic power. Luckily now today, if a mountain is in your way, there is another option. You can possibly just blow it up. No god or perseverance required. But do we, as human, actually have done that? Or more importantly, should we? Let's find out with BAA. Hi, I'm Sotelo. Welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious and share with you some of this pa, aka People Also Ask, which is the feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. Today's query is, can we blow up a mountain? Before we dive into the topic, it's important to note that intentionally destroying natural landmark and ecosystem is not only dangerous but also unethical and should not be considered. That being said, let's explore the feasibility of blowing up a mountain. So let's start with our first part. Can a mountain be blown up with a nuclear weapon? The answer is theoretically yes. According to a Wikipedia entry titled Sudan Nuclear Test, Sudan was a nuclear weapon testing project conducted by the United States on July 6, 1962, as part of Operation Plowshare, a program to investigate the use of nuclear weapon for a peaceful purpose. In this test, a shaft was drilled into the floor of the Nevada desert, approximately 200 meters, and then a roughly 100 kiloton thermonuclear device was lowered into the shaft and detonated. The nuclear explosion produced a crater about the size of a small mountain, measuring 400 meters in diameter and 100 meters deep. The crater was created in a sandfill alluvial deposit, so not on the mountain. If the test had been conducted in the mountain, the result may have been different. But theoretically, it can remove the mountain quite a bit and significantly alter the landscape and, you know, provide a decent amount of nuclear fallout. So we probably don't want to do it. That being said, could we... And had we done a light version of it, the one that does not blow up the whole mountain but just part of it? The answer is yes, it's called mountain top removal. But should we do it? Let's talk about our next part. So what is mountaintop removal mining and why we shouldn't do it? This question can be answered by Wikipedia's mountaintop removal mining entry and an article titled What is mountaintop removal mining published by Earth Justice, which is a non-profit public interest organization based in the United States dedicated to litigating environmental issues, headquartered in San Francisco. According to this two article, mountaintop removal mining is a type of surface mining that involves removing the top of the mountain in order to extract coal that is located near the surface. The land is first deforest prior to mining operation, and then the resulting lumber is either sold or burned. Once the area is cleared, miners use explosives to blast away the overburden and the rock and subsoils to expose coal sinks beneath. In the United States, this method of coal mining is conducted in Appalachian Mountain in the eastern United States. Explosives are used to remove up to 400 vertical feet 120 meter, of the mountain to expose underlying coal sinks. While this process is considered to be safer compared to underground mining because the coal sinks are accessed from above instead of underground, it has significant environmental impacts including the destruction of natural habitat and the displacement of wildlife, as well as the release of pollutants into the air and the water. Additionally, mountaintop removal mining can have negative impact on the health of nearby communities, as it can lead to increased rate of respiratory illness and other health problems. Due to these negative impacts, many people believe that mountaintop removal mining should be phased out and replaced with more sustainable form of mining. In conclusion, while it may be theoretically possible to blow up a mountain using nuclear weapon, it's generally not a good idea. 
But hey, if you are really set on getting rid of the pesky mountain blocking your view,、um, why not just dig through it with the hole and basket like the foolish old man? Sure, it may take a few generations, but at least you won't have to worry about nuclear fallout or, or you know, deforestation. Oh wait, maybe deforestation still a problem, but you get a point. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA yourself will be a pain. So here's the deal: I will do the reading for you and upload a PAA video once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. You won't miss any PAA report that I compile. So just do it right now. Bye.